this was really, really good up until the ending. And then I just could not with this book. I, like, <laughs> if you've read this book, you know what I'm talking about. But it was just, what the fuck, you know? Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with an unhaul video. I have quite a few books that I have read recently and just no longer want on my shelves. If you're new to this channel, then you don't know this, but if I rate a book three stars or less, then I unhaul it just to make more room on my shelves because I am a hoarder. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is one that I'm very upset about because I love this cover, but the inside of this book was just not good. It is Here There Be Monsters by Amalinda Barubi, and I'm very upset about this one as well because this was the first arc I ever received from my booktube channel, so it holds like a very special place in my heart, but I just, I did not vibe with this story. It took me like four months to read it because I just hated it so much, but I wanted to complete it because I have a problem with DNFing books. It's finally going to the thrift store and somebody else can read it and hopefully enjoy it, but I did not. Next book I have is What His Wife Knew by Joe Jakeman, and this one was a decent thriller, but it wasn't anything super special in my opinion. I have so many thrillers on my shelves, so why keep an average one? You know what I mean? Next up is I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney. I gave this, I believe, a two out of five stars, maybe a three. I don't quite remember. But this was really, really good up until the ending. And then I just could not with this book. I, like, <laughs> if you've read this book, you know what I'm talking about, but it was just, uh, what the fuck, you know? Which leads me to Blood Will Tell by Heather Chavez. This had a very, very similar end to this, and I just, no, you know? Just no. It was really good up until that point. And then, I, no, I don't want it on my shelves. I don't want to look at it. It just ruined the whole story for me. Next up is The Majesties by Tiffany Sow. This is another one that I am in love with this cover, but it just was not a good story. I'm also really bummed about this one because it has like butterflies throughout the whole book and I don't know if anybody actually knows this, but like butterflies are one of my favorite things in the entire world. I'm obsessed with them. So I was really excited about this, but it was just really boring and very disappointing, so sad face. Next up is another thriller that I just found extremely disappointing. The Maidens by Alex Michelettes. And I feel like this is on a lot of people's most disappointing books when they talk about it, so should not be a surprise that it's going to the thrift store. Next up, another thriller, The Shadow House by Anna Downs. This was just a very average thriller. Ended up giving it a three out of five stars. Nothing special. Don't need it on my shelves. And then yet another disappointing thriller. It is Pay Dirt Road by Samantha Jane. Allen. I didn't care about any of these characters. I didn't care about the story. I didn't care about the mystery. So kind of defeats the whole purpose of a thriller. Next up is a book that I was actually sent three copies of. So I obviously don't need three copies of this book, but it is The City Inside by Sam at Basu. I have two arcs of it. And then I was also sent a finished copy. So we just, we don't need that many copies of a book. Have I read it yet? No, so I might love it, but obviously I'm keeping the finished copy rather than the arcs. So. Next up is another pair of books, except they are not the same book, they're just from the same series, but it is the Montague Twins graphic novel series. The first one is The Witch's Hand, the second is The Devil's Music. I gave this one a three stars, but I did give this one a four stars. I just don't really see the point of keeping one book when is the second in a series, you know what I mean? So we're gonna send off both to the thrift store so that somebody can buy it as a pair and enjoy the whole series instead of just the first book. Yeah. Next up is a fantasy novel. It is The Memory Thief by Lauren Manzi. The concept of this book sounded really cool. Basically, memories are a currency in this village, but the execution was just not the best. I think that it could have been a lot cooler and a lot better if it was done well. I did end up giving it a three, so. I mean, it was not a bad book, it just could have been so much better. Next up is Servant Mage by Kate Elliott, and this is a novella. I ended up giving it a three, I believe. I feel like it would have been a lot better if it was a full-length novel, just because there was a lot of information, because it is a high fantasy, thrown into a very short book, which just didn't work for me. I just wanted it to be more fleshed out. Next up is Accomplished, a George 
George Darcy novel by Amanda Quain. I actually just finished this this morning and I hated the main character so I don't want it on my shelves. It's like a Pride and Prejudice retelling from Georgina Darcy's point of view. It gave off very poor little rich girl vibes and I just could not get behind it so. Next up is one that's probably going to come as a surprise for a lot of people because it is a pretty popular series but it is Seasonal Fears by Shannon McGuire and it's only because I was sent a art copy and then I was also sent a finished copy so I'm keeping the finished copy but I have not read the series but now I have the duology so I can actually binge it which I am going to say that that's the reason why I haven't read the books yet but it's not I'm just very behind on my reading so it is what it is. Next up is Destroy All Monsters by Sam J. Miller which I was so disappointed in because Sam J. Miller wrote The Art of Starving which I believe I gave five out of five stars. I loved that book so I was very excited to pick up another one of their books. This was not it. This was not it. Next is One Italian Summer by Rebecca Sorelli and I was actually really surprised that I gave this such a low rating because I gave In Five Years such a high rating but I was just so bored in this book which is shocking because a lot of people are giving it four or five stars but I was not one of them so it's going to the thrift store. Next up is Queen of Tiles by Hannah Alcaf. This is another one that I thought the concept was going to be really cool. It's basically like this girl who joins a Scrabble competition. Her best friend dies at the Scrabble competition. It's years later she decides to jump back into the Scrabble lifestyle. But then her dead best friend's Instagram uh, posts a picture and is basically saying that her death was not the accident that people thought. So it's her trying to figure out, you know, what happened to her best friend. But it was so boring. It was so boring and the villain was so dumb and I just... Uh, no! And then the final book that I have to unhaul today is Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. I was so excited about this. It's a romance on a cooking show. Just sounds so cute, but I hated one of the main characters. Well, I didn't hate them. They were just very um, annoying. So I could not get behind the way that they treated the love interest and I just was not what I wanted. If you want a book like this one that's actually good, then I recommend The Romance Recipe by Ruby Barrett. I actually just read this book, that's why it's in the pile, because I have to do my wrap-up video. But that one? Hella good. This one? Not so much. So it's going to the thrift store. Alright everybody, so that was my unhaul video for this time around. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!